Ah, hello. Hello. My mic is working. Right. Okay, so today's is gonna be a little different. So this time, instead of me talking to a screen over some shit you may or may not care about, uh, we're gonna talk about the Vietnam War today. Uh, if you guys have any fucking questions about the Vietnam War, I took two classes a semester over everything about the damn Vietnam War, and one whole class over just the Vietnam. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask me too. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll do a little I'll I'll do like a quiz type thing. Like I'll ask you a question and see if you know. Oh, I see. Um, when did the Vietnam conflict la uh, start and end? As soon as the French arrived. <laughs> and what was that? 18, on, 1868 or something? Well, no. No. <laughs> when did they arrive? Actually, good question. Because it was like, Ho Chi, Ho Chi, or not Ho Chi. Because uh, they didn't have a thing for Vietnam. They literally just fucking had like three sectors. Yeah. Duper Da. Ah, member Duper Da has asked a question. Does Napalm stick to kids? Napalm sticks to anything. Anything. It's kind of like Greek fire almost. It's the American version of Greek fire. Um, I like the fact that we don't know. You can actually. Uh, I I was remember reading a, a like a. I don't know what kind of book it was, but I got it for like my birthday or something like that. But it was saying like how you can make. How the bake make your molotovs better if you're using was to put styrofoam in it so that it would kind of act like napalm a little bit are you learning from the ukrainian war happening is that, is that what's going on no that this is like like maybe freshman year like six years ago like no it would have <laughs> been eight years ago jesus <laughs> are you old yet do you feel old I feel old, yes. Oh, they fucking like seniors in fucking college, dude. Well, now I'm a senior. <laughs> now you're a senior. Ah, yes, duper. Duh. I have, I have, because you remember, and you gave me big money. I am working on your Herman Goering video, by the way. It'll probably be up sometime this week. Uh, you're in for a fucking surprise. I'll tell you that. I was the uh, Air Force guy, right? Hmm. Herman Goering. He was oh, the Air Herman, Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The head of the Luftwaffe. You know, he wasn't. Well, I have to do more research. But either either two things were true. He was either a fucking terrible squadron leader or he was an amazing squadron leader. And he'd be a little bit of both. Yeah, but I'm going with one or the other because I'm, I'm actually thinking like that's what it was. Um, can he be like, can he have been like good at the start and then been like, Got more delusional over time, or uh, have uh, been uh, have started off terrible and then like grew to be decent. Um, not really, because that's not how Prussian aristocracy worked. <laughs> uh, it's kill the it. destroyer! Kill the destroyer! Everyone, shoot it! What destroyer is it? Chingu. Yeah, so anyway, Herman Goering is an interesting dude. Um, Because he, uh, at the very end of the war, because he got the order that Germany surrendered, and him and, like, every other big fucking Nazi was like, nah, fuck that! And uh, so he was ordered to, like, hand his planes in over to the authorities, and instead he ordered a squadron to basically fucking blow them all up. And they did. Um... I think he was a hothead, and I think he was a good pilot, because he did... I, I don't know if he got a Boom Max, but he might have got one. Uh, 
But anyway, blue maxes are like Victoria Crosses. So they don't they don't hand them out for shit. Damn it. Dude, they are like right here. Wow. Yeah, I know. More. It is getting, good that you are aware. I'm getting hit like every five seconds. I'm engaging the fucking Iowa trying to kill it so you can focus on something else. Yeah, no, I know he's an ace. I'm just trying to figure out if he got a fucking blue max or not. Um, he was actually a good fighter pilot. But I don't know if he was a very good fucking squadron leader is the difference. Because most, I think some of the times he fucking just took up his squadron and fucking shot everyone down. It's kind of weird. I'll look more into it anyway. Anyway, yeah, Dapper Dude, you're fucking, uh. Cooper Die, your fucking shit's coming anyway. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I am burning like a mofo right now. <laughs> You are out in the open, and the only one I can shoot at. I can shoot at them. They can all shoot at you. How do you feel? I think they're winning that engagement. Probably. Could you imagine if Herman Gerg died in World War One and the Red Baron survived and became the Reich's Marshal? <laughs> oh look, a bunch of torpedoes. Oh my god, dead. he's dead, yeah, he's dead. Alright, well, camp's dead. Nothing new there. Um, yeah, that's what you play Kaiserreich for. You just fucking, uh, the Red Baron actually lives. Focus on that guy. Oh, well, you're dead. You dead? No, you're not. Yeah, I'm dead here. Now he's finally dead. Anyway, yep. if you guys got Vietnam questions, you can ask. Ooh. What's a question you always wanted to know about Vietnam, Cam? What's a question I've always wanted to know? Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, were they, uh... Were the... Were there, like, just recruiters going around saying, here, you want to fight for the Viet Cong? Take this AK and go kill the Americans. Or did they, like, go out and say, do you want to fight the Americans? Come with us. We'll train you a little bit, and then you can go kill the Americans. <laughs> the first option. Um, so, the Viet Cong were... How should I say they were mostly volunteers. Um, they got training from some advisors in the north, but not all the time. Um, and most of the time, the actual Pavan, which is the People's Army of uh, Vietnam, they were conscripts. Gotcha. As you can imagine, the conscripts were not very happy at the time. Um, also, in the Viet Cong, they would just go to like the village elders and be like, "Hey, we're gonna fucking murder you and your entire family. Um, so don't do that." Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a famous video of one guy they found a PC fighter and said he threw a claymore at him to blow him up. Can they even be used like that? Um. Yes. If you have a claymore mine, there's a clacker, okay? You can fucking huck this bitch at someone. I would recommend it. And there, remember, uh, this side facing out is, um, 
Yeah, so if it's not facing you or facing them, and it faces you, well, you're getting sprayed with hundreds of metal beads. Um, yeah. When they need a oh, wire they're going to trip really up the fast. Boat? They also have trip wire setters there, but they had clackers other times. And then there's different ways of doing it, but yeah. Uh, my instructor actually used fucking uh, those tripwire mines, and uh, he said at one time in the night, I mean, this is in 71, he said one time um, they fucking were set up the perimeter with claymore mines, and then at the middle of the night they just heard fucking BOOM! Because the, the mine went off, and mm -hmm. a rabbit set it off, and uh, got turned to paste. Nice. They also said deer, so that happened to deer sometime too. Anything that basically tripped the fucking wire. There we go. Yay. Uh, <laughs> and we could talk about fucking the fact that uh, everyone got drafted again. Yeah. You know, the uh, that uh, Selective Service Act never actually went away because um, it was signed in 1940 and they didn't get rid of it until 76. Yeah. After we had already pulled out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is it? Um, on top of that shit, um, yeah. So Selective Service is actually running before Vietnam and after Vietnam, uh, which is kind of crazy. When you think about it. A peacetime draft in America is uh, that's just spicy. They still want to do tier seven. Yeah, I like this. I like earning money. Oh. Uh, what should I put my, uh, uh, my level four commander skill in? Are you running a secondary build? Well, I want to run a secondary build. Uh, do you have long range secondaries? Uh, no. Do you have a manual secondary battery aiming? No. Okay, we'll get that one first. Manual secondary battery aiming? Yep. Okay. And then you're just going to pick up long range secondary whenever you respect your commander or something? Gotcha. Anyway, I find it interesting that, uh, you know, the movie like We Were Soldiers and shit? Uh, mm hmm. What is it? That was like one of the only big engagements the United States ever fought in in Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. It was more, mostly all search and destroy, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. After that, but but the thing was the those big units. Well, after the Battle Il Drang, um, the Pavin were like, <laughs> "Fuck that shit," so they divided all their guys up. So platoons would be like twelve guys. Or they they send out squads of like ten guys. Like they would decentralize the fuck out of everything, right? And they would never take um, those big fights again with the Americans, right? Um, ready up. But they never took those fights with Americans again because they knew they'd Whoa. fucking lose and get shit on. Um, and then the only other time that like there's another there's another one called Hamburger Hill. Um, there's a movie yes. about it. That one was also another time they stood their ground and they got completely shit on and the Americans left and then they reoccupied the hill. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's another time like when the Americans were pulling out, I think, 73, 74. Um, there wasn't really a clear goal, right, in the Vietnam War. Body count, baby, body count. And actually, um, okay, oh yeah, let's, let's talk about that. So this um, this kind of a myth. And also not. 
Um, so the body count thing, right? You've always you've always heard body count, body count, body count, right? We need to fucking blow them all up, okay? So this came around from the fact that one, the generals were not allowed to advance in any other country except Vietnam, right? Um, and they didn't go out and t- take ground and hold it, right? They just went out of mission. So this concept of doing attrition to the enemy came about from the Wiz Kids. And the Wiz Kids is like all of Kennedy's um, advisors, right? So Robert McNamara, you know, all those funny people. Um, I'll get to that in a minute, uh, Duper. Um, but so the body count thing, right? So General Westmore was like, see. yeah. So General Westmore was like, yo, bro, what the fuck? Um, we're spending all this ammo, or McNamara was like. All this ammo, we need to throw something, right? So, but what happened is... God. But what happened is, um... The Americans would be like... Okay, we're gonna bombard the fuck out of this village, right? Um... So what they would do is they go tell everyone in the village, like... Hey, we're gonna bombard the fuck out of your village. Get out of here, right? They'd wait. They'd wait, like, a day or two. And then they bombard the fuck out of the village, right? Um... And during this time, they bombard the fuck out of the village and they kill... More than likely civilians, because the army's not going to fucking sit there. They go to the village, right? They spray a whole bunch of shit down, right? Let's say they get into contact, right, camp? And let's yeah. say they shoot a whole bunch of people, um, but no bodies, right? Because the, the Pavin and the uh, NVA, they would drag the bodies away, right? So let's just say there's some blood stains around, right? And there's some, there's like one Mosin, right? Well, you just called a fucking artillery strike level to village, right? And then you just got shot at, right? And you just wasted all of your fucking ammo, right? And it looks like you killed one of them. You can't report that to up to your superior, right? You can't be like, yeah, I wasted like $800,000 uh, and I got one kill, right? That's not going to fucking fly. So the platoon commander would get it and be like, "I we killed 10 enemies, okay? Then the company commander gets it. The company commander looks at the amount of ammo you spent and is like, no, 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 no. We can't say we killed 10, we killed 20, right? Then it goes up to the battalion commander. The battalion commander can't look bad, right? Because now it looks bad if you only got fucking 20 when you fired that much ammo, right? So then the battalion commander says, no, 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 we killed 80, okay? Then it goes to the general. The general will look bad if it says we spent that much ammunition and didn't kill it. So then he modifies the number to 180, okay? This keeps going on. Until you have, until um, in like 1972, <clears throat> somebody actually looked at these fucking numbers and says, dude, you've killed the population of Vietnam four times over already. Um, so yeah, the body count shit was a real fucking thing. And it was r- retarded. Um, the South Koreans got um, actually half decent at trying to do, um, what is it? Like it's shot. They got good at countering, um, like actually doing their job um, and finding like NBA positions, and they'd find their weapons caches and be like accurately reporting. But that wasn't American, right? Because you have to look good for your boss. You can't look like shit, obviously. So that's the story of the fucking body count. That's how it ended up to be stupid. How accurate is the narrative on the Tet Offensive? The BC and the NV were basically destroyed and won't be able to effectively fight the U.S. forces for years. Okay. So here's the story of Tet, okay? Um, it wasn't the fact that the Pavan were destroyed, which is the People's Army of Vietnam, okay? They were fine. What happened was that was basically a Hail Mary attempt by um, the North Vietnamese command structure to... Because um, they wanted... Let's, let's be honest here. They, didn't, they wanted to actually win the war, right? They wanted to drive America out. Um... That didn't happen with Tet. They did sacrifice. Basically, the NVA was out of the rest of the war. The entire rest of the time America was in the war, the NVA was out of the war. Um, we just absolutely destroyed them. Because they lost all of their experienced fighters. And everyone that took part in Tet died. Um, so yeah, the NVA was basically destroyed. Um, the Pavan were fine. And it was a tactical uh, loss for the um, army of North Vietnam, again, and it was a uh, operational 
operational failure, and it was only a strategic victory because um, General Westmoreland came earlier back to the United States and said, hey, we're like, and, and this is in 1968, right? And he's like, hey, we're winning the war. Just a few more months and we'll be there, right? Um, obviously, when Tet happened, everyone in America was like, mm, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, you said we were winning. This doesn't look like we're winning the war, right? They stormed the U.S. consulate and everything, right? Um, so after Tet, basically all of American morale went to the shitter. So that's that's basically Tet. Um, killed literally all the NVA fighters they had left. And uh, anyone that was left was basically in the actual Havan army. Hello there, interim. I am just getting crapped on over here. Yeah, I am too. Good thing I'm fighting a Dutch cruiser right now. Winning. I said it all. Everything is exploding around me. <laughs> oh, I turned the wrong way. You dead? Yep. If you get those torpedoes, you'll probably be dead. Fuck it, I'm gonna die either way, I'm gonna die proud. God, this submarine is just hounding me. We probably were gonna play Hold Fast or Rising Storm 2 with me and Camp, you know, we're fucking lazy and didn't coordinate, so that ain't happening. Yeah, sorry. Wait, you said Rising Storm? Bro. Mm -hmm. You know I have it. <laughs> uh huh. You know for a fact I have it. You could have just, you know, downloaded it. Said, hey. Mm, yeah, but could we actually fucking communicate and talk about Vietnam while we're fucking screaming at each other? <laughs> I just remember us saying we're going to play Hold Fast. Hold Fast? Mm hmm. How long are we gonna play whole fast? I'm only doing the fucking World War One shit. Because remember the World War One thing came out for um. I mean, look. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. That's right. All right, you choose. Do you want to play tier seven or tier eight? I'd like to play my Harlem if I could. I'm only like, what's it, 11,000 XP away from re being able to research the Johan DeWitt, and then from there we can just keep playing tier 7. <laughs> <laughs> so you I have enough have money, money to get to tier 9. You know what I find fascinating about, um, so Vietnam, right? There is the, um, 25th Infantry Division, right? They, uh, <laughs> so they decided to build their base camp, right? In a suitable location that they thought, right, camp? Like it had, mm -hmm. you know, good areas of fire and sector and everything, right? And it was exactly the same position that the French had built their bases in, right? Um, so I'm going to give you this gotcha question, camp. Um, it was discovered that after the war, there was hundreds of miles of tunnel underneath the 25th Infantry Division. Nice. <laughs> uh, damn. 
Yeah, ooh. So what do you think about the NBA uniform? Bro, we're surrounded! Fire the MG! That's exactly how that stream would go. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, Vietnam was uh, not fun for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Not fun at all. Uh, my my grandpa actually he uh, his oh good at church and battle. <laughs> you wanted uh, this. <laughs> uh, my grandpa has a neighbor who was a door gunner in Vietnam. Um. And he can't feel. He was on the. Uh, he was on the right side, mm-hmm. and he, he would always hang his right foot, his like right leg off of the, of the helicopter, and now it won't. Uh, it'll hardly move, because he can't feel his leg because of the Agent Orange. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Here's a question. Was the Army of Logic slash whoever made the decision seriously stupid enough to think the M16 didn't need to be cleaned? Answer? Yes. So, long answer. Okay. This goes back to Robert Kennedy. Or Ken- Jack Kennedy? President Kennedy. So, when he brought on his advisors, right? Like his brother, Bobby. Um, he brought on McNamara, okay? McNamara worked... It was in World War II as, like, a logistics dude, okay? Remember, this is important. He's a logistics dude in World War II. He then goes to work for the Ford Company, okay? Him and a whole bunch of other people go do this, okay? Those people are now called whiz kids, right? Um, Kennedy hires his whiz kid to be the Secretary of Defense, you know, to get money, right? To be effective. He looks at this army thing, right? And he's like, hmm, this M16 is a good idea, okay? It shoots, le- it shoots bullets that are cheaper, right? And it's a lot easier to manufacture, okay? And we can get, like, consistent ammo and shit. So, they order the M16, okay? They order all of this fucking shit, okay? Now, he looked at a spreadsheet, or someone in the fucking army did. He is responsible for this, okay? Because he's sacked up, everything stops with him, unlike the fucking bullshit that's happening with the United States Army today. Everything stops with him, okay? Someone said that dollar and 65 we could save if we didn't offer them off issue them with cleaning kits right because they probably don't need them okay because remember these people are the fucking logistics guys they're not like in the field and shit right um and they also I, if i remember correctly they did not chrome line the fucking m16 um first ones right they're saying m16 not m16 a1s um so yeah let it jamming let the people fucking um having to literally field strip an M16 in the field, and they died doing it, right? There's pictures of people dead next to the disassembled M16s, right? Um, and the thing was, there was an ammo change at the last minute, okay? And this is the important bit, right? Because the M16 should have fucking worked because um, they tested it with this ammo, right? They tested everything, right? The army is not... The army can be retarded, but they're not usually retarded. There's usually a mammoth behind it. Um, so, they were like, we're gonna test it with this ammo, okay? The, they test it with the ammo, it works fine, okay? Everything is fine. Then, some asshole goes out and finds and says, hey, why don't we just use this old ammo, okay? And then, like, and the thing was, when they did the old ammo, like the old gunpowder, um, it had a higher pressure chamber, okay? And that was leading to the M16 basically firing rounds that were hot, Okay? And it wasn't able to fucking extract and it was cooking like all the shit inside the barrel, right? Leaving residue and everything, okay? That combined with the fact that it wasn't chrome lined and it didn't have a fucking cleaning kit, okay? That is what made them jam a fuck ton, okay? Yeah. So yeah, that's the long answer. The short answer was, yes, some of my asshole didn't actually issue them cleaning kits, but that also wasn't the main issue. It was the fucking ammo. It's just like the Ross rifle in World War One. The Canadians had a very good bolt action rifle. It's just when they used the shitty British 303 ammo, it didn't fucking work. I'm actually gonna hit that ammo. Maybe. 
Well, I hit him. I penetrated six times. And I did not penetrate 18 times. Damn. Damn it. What? You need to back the fuck up. Nothing. Yep, I'm doing that. Well, I'm... I am... The gears are shifted, at least. <laughs> Ah, yes. I am dead kid. Good luck. There is an Odin coming around that corner. Drop the bombs. Oh, there's a ship in front of me. Oh, I see. This is where I meet my maker. I have been Citadel. Damn it. This is big ass shit fucking like oh 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 uh oh uh oh that either way it don't really fucking matter if I toss. Nah, he's fired torpedoes at you. Uh, oh, fuck. How did I get in this position? It's a long story. A short one. Drop the bombs! Yep. Drop the bombs! Well, I'm... It's not like... Yeah, I... Bro. <laughs> I am still alive! He's gonna eat his own fucking torpedo! Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he did! Sad. Set him on fire again. No, oh, someone lived. It wasn't me. Hmm. Hmm. Coward. 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 Damn straight, I'm a coward. <laughs> I didn't die an honorable death. Yet. Yet. Oh, here's, here's another thing with I just weapons. got Citadel, though, so it's yeah, okay. Well. Here's another thing with the fucking weapons, right? I really don't talk about this, but, uh... We had World War II weapons in fucking not. We had a lot of weapons in World War II. We gave them all to basically the... Not the Arvin, although we did. Uh, we gave them to basically local militias. We gave them fucking M1 carbines, M2 carbines, M2 Thompsons, fucking M3 grease guns, fucking M1919 Brownings, fucking everything. And then, and then here's a story that my professor told me. He's like, he used to give this fucking, this guy a Thompson, a militia dude. And, and he was said he loved the Thompson because he could go a fucking snap shoot a bird, right? With a Thompson, with a 45 ACP, and it was like hit every time. This is, this is... <laughs> he said he had the most fun with the Thompson. If you want to talk about being a coward, right? Talk to our fucking battleships who just sat in the back the entire time. <laughs> yeah, but this tier, this tier 10 match, though, bro. Was they all yeah, but they were also them? tier 10s. We were like the only tier 8s. <laughs> Did they also huddle in the corner. Alright, well, tier 7 then. Back tier up. 7. Didn't the Soviets just dump all their old SMG nuggets on the North Vietnamese to get rid of them? They gave them fucking everything, okay? And them and China. Um, but here, they also gave them AKs. Because, so so here's the thing, right? It, it's always been done in proxy wars and shit. So, what are they going to do? Is they're going to be like, hmm, maybe we should test out all of our old shit and see if it actually works. And some new shit, right? So... Smart Soviets and Chinese were like, hmm, if we put AA missiles in Hanoi, we can test out if they actually fucking work against the Americans. Turned out they did. Um, but they got all their weapons yeah. data and testing, right? 
And what they could do is they could give the, all these uh, Vietnamese guys, like AKs, SMGs, and all that shit, right? Give them whatever equipment they want to test on the battlefield and be like, yo, is it good? Or, you know, is there some defects that we need to improve, right? We've done it yeah. all the fucking time. The time we did it was in Afghanistan, okay? If y'all remember, in 2001, we didn't really have fucking drones. And then we basically used <laughs> drones entirely in Afghanistan to perfect them to drop bombs on foreheads everywhere, Okay. That's one example of the U.S. doing that. We also tested our stingers in Afghanistan in the fucking 90s against the Soviet, 80s and 90s against the Soviets to see if they fucking work. Yep. That we did. The, the PAVN, which is the People's Army of North Vietnam, they actually did use tanks once. Um, they're amphibious tanks, but they did use them. Um, they got shit on by laws, but, you know. Yeah. It's still scary as fuck. It'd be like an American platoon running into literally, like, a tank. I mean, we had... LAVs, though. And we had the law. And... That's it. <laughs> We had helicopters. Uh, oh, I remember that about the missiles. Linebacker, right? The missiles would miss almost always from the front B-72. B-52 and not from the rear since the jammer was facing forward. I'm not sure. I'm going to take your word on that. What I can tell you is that Operation Linebacker and Linebacker 2 lost bombers out the asshole. Okay? Those last few operations that we actually used bombers, bombers in... We lost a metric fuck ton of them. And we haven't, we can't even replace them today, right? They couldn't replace them back then. And this isn't the fucking 73, 74 when Nixon was like bombing the shit out of them. And we knew we couldn't afford it. We lost like hundreds of B 52s, which is insane. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's no wonder that the Hanoi Hilton was filled with mainly pilots. <laughs> yeah, they did not like the fucking pilots. Um, one other thing I did learn about that is that apparently, this is from my professor said, is that linebacker two, what Nixon was doing, which, cause he basically lifted the restrictions and they were kind of using smart weapons. Now they were just bombing the ever living shit out of Hanoi. Like not just like the factories and shit, cause they were already gone, but he started bombing like civilian targets, um, or residential yeah. areas. And apparently there was talks in North Vietnam of like, just agreeing to the American terms, remember? Because this is 73, there's already peace talks going on in Paris, right? They have been going on for a year. Um, but they were arguing about the fucking table size. I can't make this shit. They literally argued over for a year about the table size, like the dimension to the table. Um, so anyway, they were fucking um, doing that shit. AA camp, shoot them down. Um, and then basically Nixon got fucking fed up with them fucking stalling, which is what, which is what they were doing. Like, that's not what's going to be. They were stalling to, you know, gain more time and shit. Nixon ordered bombers. Bombers fucking destroyed everything, right? Apparently North Vietnam was on the verge of, like, just agreeing to whatever the fuck the Americans wanted and get them out of the country, right? Because it's 73. That's what we were just trying to leave. Um, but we stopped the bombing and then they kind of lit up. Um, so, you know, there it is. Remember a guy talking about how he had a Vietnam neighbor who was one of the SF dudes who operated behind enemy lines? Yeah, those are some spooky people. Because um, remember, we're not supposed to be in any of these fucking countries, like Laos and Cambodia, but we were. Um, and they couldn't talk about it, because, you know, we're technically not there, but we are. A lot of CIA operations and shit like that going on. Um, that's a whole fucking side issue. Um, also, the fact that Nixon basically declared war on three countries at the same time in fucking 70s. I think 72, 73. Yeah. Uh, well, he didn't declare war. He just sent troops in because we never actually declared war on Vietnam. Yeah. Congress just said, here, put put more people in Vietnam, but we're not going to declare war because we're just there to defend South Vietnam. Yep, and then and then we up launched like one of the biggest operations into Cambodia or Laos, mm -hmm. one of the countries. And we fucking just went over the border and just, like, shit on them. Because <laughs> the, they're in the Ho Chi Minh Trail, right? Um, yeah, and then we engaged basically everything. 
and then everyone was like, hey, my dude, you're in another fucking country. I thought you said we're stopping this shit. I thought your promise was, mm, I'm going to get out of Vietnam, not I'm going to, you know, <laughs> go into two more countries and invade. Um, yeah. So then after that shithole happened, fucking he's like, okay, no Americans will go. I'll send the Arvin in. And the Arvin went in. And the Arvin basically fucked up. And you know the story of how that shit goes. Yeah. Engage that flint if you can. Yeah, if I can see it, I will shoot at it. He and his squad were deep in DC controlled territory when the orders for US troops to leave Vietnam was announced. He had to crawl around kilometers trying to get to friendly lines. That must have been scary shit, man. Eh, yeah, fuck that. By the time they arrived, the last U.S. troops had left, so they had to escape on city boats with them. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sounds, uh, sounds fucking actually possible, considering what we did. Um, there's another fucking story of, uh, because of how the peace talks were going, um, they were gonna exchange, like, POWs and shit, right? And... There was a certain date they had to be there by, and if they weren't by there, like, the whole fucking peace talks would go awry. So, this is apparently what happened, I don't know, but it's plausible, is, um, some guys on the trail, right, because they're going to the Hanoi Hilton, um, the VC were bringing them there, and they knew they weren't going to make it in time, so they just fucking all shot them in the jungle. And left their bodies there. Sneaky, sneaky! Oh yeah, not to mention they had to shoot all of the dogs. Every single one. Because they, uh, that's another thing, yeah. He said you could sometimes see him low crawling in the middle of the street already in the U.S. after the war. Hmm. That's some fucked up shit in the brain. Uh, but yeah, so we had some service dogs like we do today. Um, but they were all volunteers in the beginning because we didn't read, like, Belgian Mal laws. Um... That shit came later. So they just asked for dogs, for like people to volunteer their dogs and shit. And uh, so yeah, after all of their fucking service in Vietnam, they're like, the army classified them as too dangerous to come back. So the army ordered them all fucking shot. Um, and everyone was like, mm, can we fucking not? But they had no choice. Um, so what some guys did instead of shoot the dogs was they just let them go in Vietnam. Now, I don't know if you people have been to fucking Asia, but there's this thing called, you know, beating dogs and tenderizing them so they can have better meat quality. Um, people eat dogs over there. It's just a fucking thing. We don't do it in the United States. And we don't do it in Europe. Uh, but they do it over there. Um, so a lot yeah, because dogs... meat is meat, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what I know about that. I don't think a single one came back. I could be wrong. Some dude might have been able to sneak him on a civilian boat and fucking bring him back. Um, but, but he's going to be like the exception there. Like the very, very exception there. Um, same thing happened in Afghanistan, believe it or not. Uh, well, except the fact that we could try to bring them home. Like there was a process to actually do it. Um, but if you got like a local Afghani dog that would follow you. Um, some SF guys were like, mm, can you stop fucking with my dog? And then the like local Iraqi commander was like, mm, shut your dog up. And then uh, they didn't, and then the dog was gone the next day. So you can piece two and two together. Isn't that sad? Yeah, well, different countries, different fucking rules. Yeah, different, different countries and different cultures have different rules about <laughs> mm -hmm. where the dog is. <laughs> what sort of place the dog can live in. All countries are equal. That's so good. <laughs> They're just different, he says. 
Is your chihuahua still alive? What? Is your chihuahua still alive? Yeah. God damn it. Chihuahuas, old. chihuahuas live the longest. <laughs> okay. I think it's ridiculously old. <laughs> well, about 12 years old, yeah. Mm. Yes, ooh, ooh, I do have a Discord server. Um, let's see, I think it's in the description. Yeah, it's in the description of this video. If you like to join the Discord. They're always in the description of all my videos and shit. Ugh. Oh, I said it held the repulse. I uh, have been abandoned. I see. No, I'm just around the corner. <laughs> I have been abandoned. I see. Bro, I literally said it held the guy that you're shooting at. <laughs> With the repulse? Yeah. Good, because I'm getting fucking focus fired as Jesus Christ. I guarantee you. Oh, now we have similar health. Look at that. But yeah, you, you, you see? Yeah, that's... That volley of fire is what I took... When I peek my head around the corner. Yeah, and I'm going to die, so finish off the repulse and maybe you can make it. Eat shit, Marblehead. Dodge, bob and weave! Hope dead. Pulse is good. I question mark. Oh, maybe. There we go. We got him. Good. Now you finish off the marble head before you eat shit and die. Hopefully. Mm, it's either finish off that marble head or die. Because that flint is not going to stop firing. He has uh, five inch guns. Oh, okay, I got him. Good. Now stop firing and put yourself out. Because he has ridiculous amounts of guns that he's going to keep shooting at you. This guy is just unreal. Yep, you're dead. Well, he just has fucking five inch guns. He's just a, basically a light cruiser with hundreds of guns. Alright, let's go see if your fucking uh, Harlem is back. Yeah. You guys got any other fucking questions besides Vietnam? We can ask now. Up to you. Yes, you can. Ah, we lost to the Harlem. Ah, big surprise. Wow. Big surprise. Big surprise to me. Oh, I'm almost there, actually. Holy shit. No, I'm not. I'm missing like 70,000 XP. You're almost there, the what? I was, but i not really. I'm missing 70,000 XP to get the next tier 8 or tier 9. You're missing 70,000 XP? Yeah. Cause I'm I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you just, you know, buckle this down and play the Harlem. Yeah, well, I'll fuck this piece of the... shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll just be playing tier 9 quicker than you will. On this? Dude, I have like yeah. 10 tier 9 ships. I could give two bucks. Yeah. I guess I'll just have the best, uh... <laughs> no, you know, no, 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 no. The best, you mean the worst tier 9 cruiser? Yeah, because it's like a heavy cruiser. Yeah, and I have a battle cruiser called the Alaska. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
I have Hydro, I have Defensive AA, I have 12 inch guns that reload very quickly. <laughs> I have 11 inch guns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that don't reload quick. <laughs> I have bombers. Uh huh. Yeah, tell that to my DFAA. Or I'll just, you know, dodge out of the way like everyone does. Yeah. Well, if you're a cruiser, yeah. If you're a battleship, no. <laughs> Those the bombers are meant for kill for catching battleships on fire, not cruisers. <laughs> yeah, the slow target. Which torpedoes would be better at, but I get the sense that the Dutch cruisers are meant for killing battleships versus, you know, other Cruisers and destroyers, which makes them real shit at basically everything. It's probably why they're, it's definitely why they're not using any tournament game. Yeah, that's how you know if a ship's really good camp or not is if it's using fucking ranked in tournaments. Oh gosh, yeah. What are some other famous Dutch people? Do you know? Uh, I mean, I don't really, like, look up. Uh, Dutch don't really have, like, a big military history. They got stomped on by the French during the Napoleonic era because, you know, they were well beyond their... They were well past their golden era by that point. <laughs> Here's a real question is when did the Dutch not get stomped on? Uh first Anglo Dutch War, second Anglo Dutch War, and the third Anglo Dutch War. Pretty sure didn't they win one of those English? Uh they won the last two. But the first <laughs> three they, But they the Dutch won the first three. But there were five Anglo Dutch wars? Mm-hmm. And there were, guess what? They were all naval wars. <laughs> what happened? Is one of the Unless you count, like, that time the Dutch technically invaded England, but not really. Well, when they sailed up the fucking Thames and burned everything. When, when half the English were like, hey, come be our king. And he's like, oh, okay. Here, I'm just going to bring, a, uh, like, 15,000 troops. Is that okay? Okay, cool. I wish you luck in your new life camp as you're about to get citadeled by 10 ships. Yeah. Wait, shoot him down! Look at that! No one should. No one. One person shot at me. <laughs> ah, I can shoot at this PI the trick. Wow, that trip is really fucking close. Ooh. I'm about to get a shit ton of damage. <laughs> Do we all drop bombs in the fucking turpits? Yeah. <laughs> I set him on fire, but he has torpedoes, and I don't like my chances. Yeah. I set him on fire, but he put mine out. But then you caught him on fire, and now he's burning because <laughs> he doesn't have his thing. Where 
There's this torpedo launcher. In the center. Okay, he just launched his torpedo. There we go. Nice. Well, maybe nice. I may not be here anymore. Especially if I get burned. Dodge and weave! Dodge and weave! The FAA activates you the fuck down! Ah, they are all fucking shooting at me. I see. Yeah, I'm dead. Die with honor. What the hell is that? Too long. It's got quad guns in the front. Wow. Can't you heal any? Nope. I'm burning to death. I set him on fire. Mm -hmm. My description still says stuff about World War One uniforms. <laughs> oh well. Why do you have a, such a monumental rule list with 150 people? Because uh, Discord will ban you really fucking quick if you don't follow any of those rules. That's why they're there. I should know. I got banned myself. I got banned because somebody hacked my fucking account. So, <laughs> and then Discord told me to go fuck myself. Nice. Not always fun. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen. There's a there's a new video or kind of old video about how Discord is shady as shit. I'm gonna burn him to death. And you are gonna burn him to death. Yeah, but it's, Discord is shady as shit because my account that was banned is uh, technically got deleted, quote unquote. But oof, hey, you're fucking dead. Well, I'm um, dead. The fucking, uh, oh wow, you have 800, well, now you're dead. <laughs> Ow, I didn't die. Immediately. There we go. Uh. Yeah, but, uh, anyway, my Discord account got technically quote-unquote deleted, but the server that it, it opens is still around because it's just called deleted user, which basically means they have all your shit, which is just, the dude that actually made Discord is um, selling all your information, but you should have known that when you, when Discord was free, you signed up for that shit. So it's really your fault that everything is the way it is. Yeah. Oh, I can hear. I can speak again. Let's just say an interested party didn't like me talking about certain things. <laughs> okay, back to tier seven. How many? How much damage did you do? Thirty-five. Nice. I got forty-five. I want to play the Sharn Horse. I'll play the Destroyer. Destroyer, ready for battle. No, the Sharn Horse came back. Hey, look at that. Hmm. A certain conflict in a certain area where, where where the people refuse to fight for their own country. <laughs> clearly, clearly. I wonder how Ukraine is going. Ukraine war map. Hmm. Yeah, Kiev is no longer under attack because the Russians were like, nah, we're going to focus on the east. Focus on the war goal. <laughs> Yeah, they're just doing fucking Winter War Part 2, except Winter War, uh, except, <laughs> except the main difference is uh, Ukraine is being supported by literally everyone in the world, but... Wow. All the rich people of the world, yes. <laughs> All the Western and NATO people. <laughs> I don't know if China is really supporting them. No, is J no. Japan even doing anything? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe they're giving them money, I don't know. Mm, yeah, the fronts have stabilized. I mean, they're fucking... 
closing in on a pocket. They're encircling another pocket. Right. Will D not supply you a, three? A small pocket. Wait, I, what was it? We will D. What is Molotov's? On uh, Poland. Okay. Molotov declares war on Poland. Okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, they, Japan has given money, but they're not going to send any, like, you know. <laughs> they're not going to send any military equipment or anything like that to them. What did the Soviets say when they declared war on Poland? There's um, God, it, it's literally like the same language. Um, we will destroy the military, destroy to secure Donbass, or protect our brothers. If Putin keeps moving, the focus goes off the pitch. Uh, true. Uh, I'm trying to find the fucking thing that Molotov said. Um, So uh, the Belarus elections happens. Oh, and let me guess, President won. The president won, and everyone is pissed. <laughs> so how much did he win by? Is more of a question. An unrealistic amount. <laughs> Eighty-five percent, baby. I've yeah, been no. elected. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah, wow! There totally wasn't, you know, ballot box stuffing or, you know, um... <laughs> I don't even think he stuffed the ballot box. I just think he makes a number up. Uh. Oh, this number says 21? I think that... No, 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 no. That says 85 right there. <laughs> oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. When it became evident that the Polish state had ceased to exist, the Soviet government marched its troops into western Ukraine and western Belarus in order to save the people from the ravages of war and unite them with the main body of Ukrainians and Belarusian people from whom they were torn in 1920 by the combined efforts of Poland, Britain, and France during the period of civil war was in a weakened condition. We are protecting you. Ah, okay. yes, just, you know, a hundred years after the fact. <laughs> we are protecting you. Yeah, we couldn't help a hundred or hundred years prior, not even fifty years prior, but now? Nah, yeah, now. Now we're gonna do it. Right? Yes. Right, Putin? Right? Yeah, 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 now. Now. <laughs> uh. God, I love him. Look, it's a Sharnhorst B. Oh, it's a Sharnhorst. That's Black Mondays with their Black Friday. Oh, it's Black Friday. The Russians are nothing if not consistent, at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, a special military operation. It's okay. I barely have any Russian viewers anyway, and the ones that are there are neither dead or fucking are either dead or have been arrested, <laughs> or they're vehemently uh, Russian supporters. Yeah, that too. Launch torpedoes. Ooh. Well, I wasn't a Citadel, but it was still pretty decent. What was it? Tier ten game? No, oh. tier nine. Tier nine. Okay. 
Good. <laughs> I was wondering because it said like Kitakaze, and I was like, ah, fuck. Sad. None of my church feeders are going to get him. Sad. Sad. Oh, I have been detected by something. Nope, I am not detected. Is there anyone else like the fact that uh, the war in Ukraine is still going on, but the main news coverage is about Amber Heard and Donnie Depp? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that, that's the thing, Randy. I don't know if you've noticed in your, what, 24 years on Earth now? 23, I'm an asshole. <laughs> 23 years on Earth. Um, but, man, this guy is terrible at launching torpedoes. <laughs> but, um... The, the the news, right, is really into, like, one thing for, like, a couple of months. And then that becomes old news, and they're like, ah, eh, we don't care anymore. A couple months? <laughs> a couple months, Cam. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> War in Ukraine has been going on for, like, two months. <laughs> yeah. And it's only been the past couple of weeks where everyone's really been talking about Amber Heard and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but it's like 80% of the news coverage now. It's great. Uh -huh. You missed. Ah, oh, torpedoes. Mount Bar's a new ship, I think. I don't know if she could convert one of these. Pop it a boopy. Oh, shit. Oof. Kungamu. Are you going to take care of that rune or what? <laughs> no. I'm dead. Hey, you got torpedoes. Activate speed boost. So, deadliest warder, VC fighter, or IRA fighter, there are no cars or man-made tunnel systems nearby. I'm going, my mighty's in the fucking VC, dude. That dude's actually seen combat. The fucking IRA dude's only killed defenseless civilians, so it's fine. Yeah. What's your opinion? <laughs> Island depends. Where are they fighting? <laughs> if, you're, if you're fighting in the city, I'll take the IRA guy. But if they're fighting... You know, in the woods or the jungle or something like that. I'll take the VC. <laughs> I mean, the I, the VC dude had to fight like an actual army. The fucking IRA just had oh, to fight. Oh shit! He got me. I didn't have my mask on. Uh, no, I'm good. Think so. It's a good thing I have martyrdom, so I drop a live grenade. Boom. <laughs> uh. Have you seen Deadliest Warrior when it came out back in the day? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of. Like, 
Did I ever watch it on like the channel I was on? No. <laughs> Did I watch it on YouTube? Yes. <laughs> How long ago? Because I remember when that shit came out on TV. That's uh. It was like middle school. Yeah. I like the fact that like the Rangers won just by punching the fucking dude. That's literally it. He's like, it's gonna do jujitsu and shit, and then the ranger just comes up and fucking beats him over the head with a fucking, uh... With just a rifle, and he wins. Victory! United States Army Rangers! Yeah. Shit was <laughs> hilarious. I like how the main qualification for one of the guys was that they made a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Wow. Fuck, I thought I could dodge it. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw you swing around. I was like, oh, he's not going to make it. <laughs> nah, if my ass swung out the other side, maybe. Well, if you knew how ships work, you would know that that, that is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> remember when George Washington... Don't bend. No, remember when straight. George Washington beat Napoleon in a fist fight, but said George Washington won because of his generalship? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, okay, I th yeah, I remember, because Napoleon was like... lost the Harlem game? What? Oh. <laughs> fucking, uh, you know, because fucking Washington's like a six-something dude. I just remember that fucking scene of him beating the shit out of Napoleon. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was great! They had, like, five dudes under their command each time. I think Napoleon had an artillery gun. Yeah. It was like seven dudes. I'm like, yeah, this is, uh, this is how they fought, guys. Yeah. Well, they had to keep it small so that... Because, I, I mean, they also only had, like, a limited budget, too. So you can't get, like, yes, Washington, you get 200 men. And Napoleon, you get 200 men. We're going to make this really big. And the fights only last, like, like 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. So fucking stupid and so cheesy, but 10 out of 10 show. Ah, I remember when fucking, like, because they didn't have the budget, right? They would just do 1v1s the first season because they didn't have any fucking yeah. budget. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, now we're actually going to give them some guys. And they sometimes brought in, like, different people throughout the seasons, but the doctor always stayed the same. <laughs> <laughs> he is dead! Oh, no shit! <sighs> yeah, he got hit here. He would have bled out and died within, <laughs> uh, like... If, if they didn't have a bandage on that, he would have bled out and died in five minutes. <laughs> oh, really, what? doctor? Oh, really? Wow, well, really? He's missing half his fucking jaw! <laughs> Like, God. <laughs> uh, what, did he just have a really bad medical career and they were like, you know what? He's, he's like, you know what? I'll just go do this. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I remember they did, uh, they did SWAT versus GSG-9. I thought they did SWAT versus Spetsnaz. No. <laughs> no, yeah, wait, that, no. That I was wouldn't thinking even of... be a... Wait, was it? No, oh. they did. I swear to God, they did Green Marines. They did. A, they someone. did do yeah, a spet. They definitely did do spet -naz. Um So yeah, the sword off his head, sev severing the head kills people. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, that doctor. Let's see, bro. Have fun dying. <laughs> I die for the glorious Dutchland. And I'll live for the glorious touch lens. <laughs> God, what was some... Oh, yeah, no. So they're doing SWAT versus GSG-9 camp. And guess who won? SWAT. There you go. <laughs> 
I wonder why. <laughs> it kind of more. It was an American show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the GSGI and his federal police forces or anything that trained for counterterrorism. <laughs> no, 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 no. It can't be that. No, it has to be the the, the Dallas t- PD SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that ain't hey, one. They didn't even do, like, FBI SWAT. They just... <laughs> oh. Yeah, SWAT is honestly a joke. Like, if you need something like that, just call the National Guard. <laughs> call the National Guard? What's the National Guard gonna do? Well, I, I'm sure you don't need it. I'm sure police don't need LA fucking Vs. <laughs> You know? Hey, hey, hey. They need as much firepower as a terrorist can have, Cam. Ah, yes, because a terrorist is rolling in with LAVs. <laughs> no, 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 because a terrorist can have an RPG. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the video shook when you hit your desk. Go back and look. Are you using a video camera to record your screen? No. Fucking use an OBS. Uh, shit, Dooper Dooper, you crack me the fuck up. Alright, I'll kill Chipper. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. I do not consent. I wonder why. I do not consent. At least they're mostly bouncing off. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like no one's going for B. <laughs> Obviously not. My mommy says I'm funny for <laughs> Ah, I set the turpents on fire twice. Looks like you put it out. Oh, I'm on fire. Situation is fine. Full speed ahead. Oh, like another Harlem. <laughs> yeah, well. How does that Harlem have 43,700 health? Because <laughs> he took a useless fucking skill. Yeah, Camp, he can take an extra one shot from you. But did it mean just one round? Not even, like, a barrage, just one round? Fuck you, French boy. Bro kind of sounds cute, 10 out of 10. <clears throat> Our whole fucking team is pushing this side. No wonder we're winning. Mm-hmm. My bomb's actually going to hit some more questions. I think so, but you never know. God could be with the bombs today. Oh, I got one hit. Mm. 
Bob and weave, Bob and weave. The baguettes, the baguettes, the baguettes. Have you actually ever had a baguette camp? A baguette? A baguette. I've had, oh yeah, I mean. They're actually pretty good. <laughs> get those in America, my guy. I know, they're pretty good. They're pretty good pieces of bread. Yeah. They're all, they're if they're warm. Good. If they're warm. Yeah. $5 baguette, I remember that fucking Tom Thumb. Yeah. I never had them at, in, uh, at, uh, holy crap. Oh, man. Bro, I barraged once with, uh, with, with my, um, bombers, mm -hmm. right? Got 25,000 damage out of it. <laughs> On what? On a hit. I, I, apparently I just hit him, like, because I, I saw it go 9,000, uh, Wait, well, it might have been 16,000, actually, because it was, like, 9,000 and then 7,000. I saw it go down. Damn. Costco baguettes are good. I haven't tried a Costco baguette. Maybe they're good. Although, you can beat someone to death with a baguette if they're hard. If it's hard, I'll tell you that. You just have to have yeah. the will. You just have to have the willpower to do it. <laughs> Alright, Upper Hydro. Oh, yeah. There he is. You've got torpedoes. Two for four ninety nine. Yeah, Costco always cheap. Costco like the Amazon. Let's see if they actually hit. Maybe. Got oh, I knocked out of the steering gear. I'll be able to shoot momentarily. Stand by. Powering up Death Star. If I can, I'm going to focus on that fucking um, DD. Yep. Did you finish off the fucking London? Let's see. Yeah, got it. <clears throat> Oof. Wow. Well, I'm dead. Got him. Got 61,000 damage, though. The fuck did you get hit by? Torpedoes? Uh, a torpedo. A single torpedo. Come <clears throat> on, you got this. Fucking turning barrel! I appreciate that, RK. Making it more. We should have another one out tomorrow, a big one. <laughs> Let's try... Oh, am I fine? God, the destroyer is laying a smoke screen for me, Camp. My team is cooperating. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Uh oh. All right, you caught him on fire at least. to switch targets back to the Devonshire. I have unlocked Confederate. He's turning in. He's dead now. And we are going to lose this, but... No bullshit. I'll turn it around. Watch me. Okay, fucking turn it around. Turn to get around. Super die. I forgot to tell you, son. I'm disappointed. Real men buy figures with removable parts. Fix that mistake immediately. <laughs> Super die. You gotta calm down with the fucking donations, my guy. Jesus Christ, my dude. 
Fucking go buy yourself some fucking. Oh, thanks, Duper Dog. Goddamn. Thank you, Duper. I swear, I, that's from a. From a. Isn't that like. The name of like a spy or something like that? Like Duper? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. It's like from a kid show, I think. I don't know. I very much thank you, Duper Dai, and your Herman Goering uh, shit's coming. I'll tell you that much. A day in the life of Herman Goering. Uh, argue with Himmler. <laughs> uh, manage everything. And shoot everyone that doesn't agree with you. The figures with removable panties. I'm assuming that's a fucking thing. Um, fucking uh, the Martin uh, Kitagawa thing, I think, is fucking on it. You know what, Camp? Here, what is your opinion, Camp, as a non-anime person? That's what I consider you About as. what? Alright, so, there was an anime show going out, okay? And, um... Right, and it is about, um, cosplaying as, like, anime characters, okay? Right? And the female's the one that's cosplaying, right? And then the dude yeah. is, is, like, a, a doll maker, right? He's, like, an actual doll maker, like the Japanese doll shit, right? Um... And, uh, so that's what he does, right? Anyway, the show is, like, um... Etchy? Do you know what that means? Edgy? Etchy. No idea what that is. Okay, just no. think, like, just think, like, sexual content, but, like, not showing, like, tits, okay? Um, but literally everything else, right? Um, like, no hard R stuff, right? Anyway, okay, so... Anyway, the the female in the show is, like, supposed to be 15, and the dude's also supposed to be 15, okay? Um, right? This is important, because the fucking people that are making the figurine, right, they make the, the female have a removable top and underwear, I think. Huh. And what is your opinion? Um. Because when Twitter found out... <laughs> yuck. Because <laughs> when Twitter found out, my dude, they fucking shit a brick. How could you sexualize a fucking fifteen-year-old girl? And everyone... Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then everyone's like, "Dude, it's a fucking piece of art." This is oh, by the way, the, the this is the by the way, the the creator of the manga is a fucking female camp, and uh, she's also the one that told because because um she she was like wearing a tan on one of the things, right? And then Twitter fucking exploded and basically is like, hey, you can't do that. It's a blackface. And she's like, I'm sorry that American culture is nothing but black people <laughs> on her fucking Twitter. Oh, people were calling her a fucking Stacy, if you know what that means. But yeah. Stacy? No, Stacy. Oh. Is that a... Chad and Stacy? Do you not know that? Is that someone who acts like... Who's a girl that acts like a guy? I don't know. Do you know what a Chad is? Yeah. Okay, I think the oh, opposite is version okay. is Stacy. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not the it's the same, but for female. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Kid for president 2024. I don't know. I made it up. I kept forgetting my Gmail password, so I started making noises and making that account name, and that's the one that stuck. <laughs> that's what he said his name was about. Uh, gotcha. Fucking, anyway, the creator is a fucking Stacy, and I literally could give two fucks about what Twitter wants. <sighs> yeah, Camp also, so my friend here, Camp, is, um, he says he watches anime, but he's watched like four. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, I say I've watched anime, I don't say I watch anime. Okay, yeah, he's watched anime. That's, that's a good interpretation, so he's not very familiar with all of us culture people. Yeah. Biden is a beta? What would you say to that, Cam? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say he's a beta, I'd say he's an omega. <laughs> Uh-huh. You're gonna yeah. make me go watch that fucking, um... 
Alpha and Omega. Do you remember that? Do you remember that Disney show like about the fucking wolves? They were called like. It was it was a movie, and yes, yes. I do, and that and yes, that is what I was referencing. Do you know they made like three movies out of that? I've only seen like the first one back when it came out. Uh, bro, the, if anything is popular with Disney, they're like, okay, we need three of these. <laughs> Dude, I'm just gonna say the fanfic. Damn. <laughs> Uh, is it, is it gross? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. When I say fanfic, <laughs> yeah, it's probably porn, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where do you think furries come from, Cam? God, fuck. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I don't know, cause okay, the 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 White House Twitter mm-hmm. just said that um uh vaccines weren't available until after biden became president even though he took the vaccine before he became president (laughs) Uh... also his approval rating is not super high it's like oh really couldn't imagine why it's like 40 it's like 38 40 percent I couldn't. I couldn't imagine why. Maybe forty-two, but it's like real low because, like, again, it's one of those situations where no one wanted to vote for Trump, so they just voted for Biden. But it was like, but it's still a shitty choice. <laughs> I like how the chat has been off the entire time. Damn, guys, I'm I'm totally professional here. Shit. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think Kamala gives Biden sloppy top. <laughs> I want to get banned off fucking YouTube. All right. Probably. <laughs> oh, come on. He can't say stuff like that, but half the stuff I didn't get to say, thanks, Obama, is lowering than, is lower than Trump? It's lower than Trump. Lo- do you yeah. think? Really? I don't think really? it's lower than Trump, but I think it's, like, as low or... Like, maybe a little bit above. Damn, that's impressive, my dude. I can tell you why half of America doesn't like him. is because he's fucking Catholic, but that's besides the point. Well, it's not really that. No one really gives a shit about that anymore. Uh, really. they definitely... Well, at least not our generation. Yeah. Yeah, sure. As I referenced Tino. <laughs> yeah, but he is a Catholic. <laughs> yeah, as I referenced someone that's like... Oh, sorry. Yeah, let but me, he didn't let vote me, for let him me, because let me rephrase he was my Catholic. He didn't, he didn't vote for him because he was Catholic, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me rephrase my statement. It's like Godel before he converted. Those people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but those are... Uh, I, well, <laughs> oh, they're what? Mm, I'm, you know, 74% of America's Christians are? Yeah, but... And 20% is Catholic? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... He's like a, a hardcore, like, fascist. <laughs> so, you know... It, you know, he's literally <laughs> a fascist. <laughs> like, I know that that word gets tossed around a lot, I but know, no. We all know it gets tossed around, but we actually do know. A fascist. <laughs> Yeah, that's, like see, that, that's the thing that really ticks me off about the left is they say fascist all the time when nothing it's about not it is as fascist, and they're they're just like meh. It's it's like when right people call left people communists, even though nothing they say have any has anything to do with communism. Dude, I wonder, I wonder what if left people talk to Godel, they would be like Jesus Christ, Jesus Hitler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hitler, but with a commission. Where did you go? Oh, you're in the center. Watch out for the sub. You need to get to the island. Take a left. I'm dying with honor right now. So am I. (laughs) 
Alright, with honor. Ooh. Wow, they're all shooting at me. Ah, fuck you, John Bart. I looked it up. When can you take your panties off and call it cast off? I looked it up. When you can take the panties off of figures, it's called cast off. So now you know what to search for. Now I do know what to search for. Wow, that's that's actually kind of funny. I'm gonna go look at that figurine now for uh, a little scene. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> You should make some more Thunder content. Fuck that. No, 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 no. I... That's, that's like asking are they, if someone plays Apex Legends if they want to stream Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, so he, he, here's a fun fact. I did play War Thunder a lot, Cam. Like, a lot. When it, like, first came out. Um... I don't know when that was, 2013 maybe? Um, I played the beta of tanks, like all of that. I'm gonna die either way here, fuck. All that shit. I got to like the F86 Saber and then I stopped. Um, Air Arcade is fucking trash. Air Arcade is fucking trash can because you can't earn any goddamn money. At least that's what my opinion was fucking like five years ago. Well, just four years ago now. Um, I don't really get how you can have worth under. You gotta sit in place or try to have fun and fail. Yeah, basically. That's basically it. Um, the Navy side for War Thunder is also f fucking atrocious. Because um, it's just basically just who has the fucking battleship and you win and I'm dead. End my suffering. 2012. Yeah, 2012. So I played it. I think I played it in 2013. I don't think I played it in 2012. Yeah, you just got a shit ton of damage off of those bombs. What is between the advanced version and the standard version? I don't even <laughs> One sixth scale. Huh. Okay. Florida time. I only ever managed to find a single naval game. Well... That too, because it's just fucking PT boats. Who wants to play PT boat simulator? Like, okay, cool, they're fun and all, right? For like a laugh, but a, a PT boat, like, mm. it's a PT boat. Yeah, you just go zzz, you zig and zag, and then you shoot a couple torpedoes, and then you run away. <laughs> yeah, until you face a dreadnought, and the secondary batteries just kill you fucking 15 kilometers away. Yeah. Wow, they really did loot Martin Kitagawa out the ass. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh well, fuck it. It's not the worst thing I've fucking seen. You want a fucking Bono no Piku is uh <laughs> I don't even want to talk game about this. You know what? Fuck it. Bono no Piku camp is is what you get when you have a deranged person make an anime. Cool. It's like, do you know what a lolly is? Mm, I feel like that's a gay thing. No, but okay. So a lolly is a little little girl. Okay. Now, now imagine what you get when I say a lolly boys um, travel around like Japan and like I don't even know if they do sexual acts. I I can't even remember. 
I should be reading this shit. Anyway, yeah, people, uh... Oh, Hosaki! Did you just see? I just blew that guy for five dollars! <laughs> hey, somebody's twelve. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a, yeah. I thought he was like eight. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when... I remember playing BF4 a lot that year. Arrived from school playing BF4, slept, woke up, got back on BF4. Must have been around 10. Hmm. Damn, you young bitch. Fuck, I played... When did BF4 come out? Let's see. Man, you were playing... Your parents let you play BF4 when you were 10? Jeez. <laughs> what, were your parents strict or something, Cam? I played fucking literally every... I played Grand Theft Auto. No, I was but like... I didn't... I didn't... Well... Good time. I guess you know? I was I guess I was like twelve or thirteen when I started playing BF four and BF one and all that. So Dude, I was playing yeah. Grand Theft Auto with uh let's see, it's twenty thirteen. I was fifteen. Fifteen or fourteen when that came out. Good lord, I'm old. Um Yeah, and I played Mass Effect three. I was fourteen, thirteen. Yeah, dude, I've been playing I played Grand Theft Auto when I was like fucking six or something or seven. Damn. You know what I you know what I thought about the strip clubs camp? This is my this is my child brain thought. I would save the game before I would go to the strip club and then I would watch the scene and I'm like, wow, I just wasted a whole lot of money for no benefit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's literally what I thought. <sighs> me too. Man, we just fucked that guy up. <laughs> yeah, he's firing back. He's Going hardcore! Wow, he's gonna commit. He's gonna commit. He's gonna. He's committing suicide. I played COD WA when I was nine or eight. World at War. Hi. Oh, yeah. Enemy submarine in sight. I gotta watch Naruto when I was like nine, something like that. The first episode, I was a flashback of Ichi killing all of his relatives. It was pretty based. Uh, good to know we're all fucked up in some way. Yeah. Oh, what was it? Oh, God, camp. Um, you guys might know this. You guys in the chat, you gotta help me out here. Um, I used to, like, uh, you remember when Adult Swim used to change, or Adult Swim used to come on the Cartoon Network? Um, like at like 10, 8, 10 p.m. and shit. And you can watch like Family Guide and shit. Um, yeah. What was the show Ooh. called where that was like a milkshake? A fucking a meatball. <laughs> oh, it was something Reaction Force or oh, yeah. Crime Fighting. Crime Fighting, re crime fighting Reaction Force or something like that. Dude, that show fucked me up. <sighs> I... I see clips of it on YouTube every once in a while. I'm like, what the fuck? Who was, <laughs> when was this the thing? <laughs> yeah, it was, that, man, I remember watching that camp on a box TV. Like a big-ass box. Yeah. Aqua Team Hunger Force. Oh, yeah, there we go. Bring back the fucking memories. I remember there was another one with, like, a rock band and shit. Um, like, it was a rock band. It was, like, literally the same thing. Blood everywhere. Camp, you have a yeah. There's a destroyer right there. You need to dodge or do something. Yep. That she is pixel as. My parents still have a sixty inch TV. Oh my god. I watch the chicken show all the time as a little kid. And I panic. The whole time because I was afraid my mom would wake up and see me watching it. Uh, man, I used to play fucking Halo Reach like all the fucking time when that came out. Oh man, fucking remember Forge mode and shit. And all your dead camp unless you, yeah, you're dead. Enemy submarine spotted. <laughs> That's it. <said. laughs> yeah, you fucking.
actually kill him. Did you get him? I got him. Oh, you got, got him. him. Oh, fucking 10 out of 10 gameplay camp. Now we just have that yeah, fucking just, other floor. Uh... The boy was moving. Got the boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's another Florida. That's what's been shooting at me. <laughs> Did you not realize he was a Florida? No. I How just... big is your mini map on your screen? It's pretty big. Good. It should be like one fourth of your screen. Uh, I can't really see if if it's like that, but it's it's only like one size lower than that. Yeah. Good. This is Nagato and a U one ninety. I'm gonna go around the right. You go around the left. Okay. Box him in. Wait, my left or your or your the way left? you're going. Okay, cool. I have been detected by aircraft. What the fuck? So why? He's coming in. He's coming in for you. Activate AA guns. Activate. Shoot them down. Shoot them down. They got one. Uh, at least I took it in the torpedo belt. Brother, I need your help. Brother, I'm being shot at. Brother, that well, hurt. Wow. And so am I. <laughs> I'm also getting shot at, my guy. We will focus on the Florida. Yep. Ah, oh, there's another bomber coming in. Coming in for your ass. Oh, he's coming in for me. Bob and weave! Wow, he knocked out my turret. Okay, cool. Haha, <laughs> dodge. Wow, did Holy you hit him? Holy crap! Did you sit him? <laughs> you sit <Yeah>. him! <laughs> Well, it's not just war. Violent conflicts in general even rise. Be, be excited. <laughs> uh, oh. That Nagato's AFK. Oh, cool. Well, that makes it easy. <laughs> get bombed anyway. Wow, okay. My engine... There's the carrier. Shoot the carrier camp. Get his ass. Okay. I will once I've reloaded. Ten seconds. Incoming torpedoes for you. Secondary batteries. Open oh, fire. Rip. I can't see the thing anymore. The aircraft what's, carrier. What's the range on your uh, secondaries? Uh, how do I tell? There should be a little thing on your left side, just above your speed, your right of your speed. Um, seven point one kilometers. Are you within seven point one kilometers? Okay, now oh, now you, I am. Now you left control, and then you click him. Yeah. Oh, fucking, that's a lot of fucking torpedoes. Ah! Hey, I'm dead, by the way. There's a sub on your You're right. You're dead? Yeah, there's a sub on your right. Good. Find an engaging gameplay. He's, like, very fucking close. Yeah, he is extremely close. Yep, there's a fucking torpedoes.
I'm either right on top of the enemy sub. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, he's somewhere near me. Or not actually dead yet. Oh, he's. I'm right. He's literally underneath me. I hit him. Do you have any bombers you can get over here? Um, where are you? you see me? Uh, maybe. Fucking drop your fucking. No, I. Yeah. I have to be real. I have to be three kilometers closer. If I can, if I can, I will. But don't count on it. <laughs> What's more dangerous? Fold a man in a flame tank or Connecticut motherfuckers in a zombie? Hmm. I'm gonna die because this fucking Wesser is literally retarded. Yep. Yeah, YouTube deleted them or repost. Yeah, YouTube deletes uh, random shit if it doesn't like it. Hey, Wesser, are you gonna? I don't know who you're fucking dead. I can't be ready on your left as a sub. Or your okay. right on your right side. On your right side, the aircraft probably gonna spot him. Copy that. The psychologist uh... says playing these games, those games, was bad for me. I don't really know what she meant by that at all. All I know is I became fascinated by war. Well, if you're a boy, congratulations, you've been fascinated by war. Pretty much all of us fucking are. We're playing fucking Hoyt. Yeah. Unless you're not, but, you know. Most of us are. There's a sub, there's a sub, there's a sub camp, there's a sub. He's... Oh, I see, I see. Drop your shit. Where's the second bomber? You only dropped one. Don't. No, oh, I only have one. This isn't the Harlem. <laughs> no, you have two. No, I only have one. Is it recharging? Sad. I have two yeah. for some reason. I actually hit him with the depth charges. Good. You can only do 10,000 damage to every torpedo. Yeah. Fucking CV is stupid. There we go. See? The CV's doing his fucking job. He's low on air, which means he has to come up. He's gonna kill our fucking CV, yeah. I don't feel bad for this fucking CV either. My mom thinks I'm a terrorist because I like military history. Well, I don't tell you about that. Maybe you are a domestic terrorist. Yeah. Maybe you are, in fact, a domestic terrorist. Have you considered not being? A domestic terrorist? Has that ever <laughs> entered your mind? Has that ever uh, emptied your mind? Ah, you are facing a Russian battleship. Hmm. A one that's barely moving. <laughs> YouTube's list of banned words could reach around you for a hundred times. Yep. Oh, you missed. Well, kind of. Who the fuck is he shooting at? The carrier. Obviously he's shooting at the carrier. Hmm. My money camp is on them winning. Oh, I lit him on fire with my secondary. <laughs> did you left control him? Yeah, I did. Okay, so your secondary should be firing very accurately now. Oh, 
and kind of missed again. Turn. Harder. Turn harder left, because he's going to broadside you. If he broadsides you, you will die. Have you loaded HE? Because you should have. Uh, no. They're all going to bounce. He's going to go for Ram, by the way. Now shoot him. Get the buyer. Damn it. Get the buyer. Okay, I find it very interesting how right tactics are similar to medieval tactics. They are, though. Uh, and it makes sense because, you know, shields and batons, you know, equal uh, people be get pack. Like when the police form a march down the street. <laughs> Marine Corps got rid of their military police guys, and I'm kind of sad. Kind of sad. They got rid of them. Sad, 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 sad story. And they also got rid of all their fucking tanks. Sad story. Bayern's basically dead. You say that as you took a ass out of damage. <laughs> I took 5,000, and it's got. I still have 28,000. Are, are you shooting HE yet? No. Sad. I haven't had time to switch. Shit. <laughs> no. See, look at that. Good. Now capture A. <laughs> yep. Ah. The enemy sub has launched torpedoes at you. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeehaw. The problem is most of the times riders have no coordination or anyone in command at the most. They'll end up losing if they don't have overwhelming force. I got uh, over 100,000 damage that game. <laughs> uh, 90, 69,000. Well, the reason rioters don't have control is because, you know, they're rioting. And it's a people mentality mob thing. I really wish our police were like the Coruscant Guard. Mm, I mean, we're almost there. <laughs> I mean, we're almost there. Almost. Almost. And look at that, I almost have enough credits to buy the... whatever the upgrade is. Whatever the upgrade is. I only need 525 XP ready. <laughs> you don't want to do it. 525 and XP. Mm -hmm. I have 11. Purchase XP. price 13 million credits. I have 12,413,000. Hmm. And I have a couple of doubloons, so I can, if needs be, I can just, you know. <laughs> well, let's do, let's do the Florida again. <laughs> okay. I'll get enough free XP out of it to, you know. Oh, I have unlocked the tier six Leon destroyer. Oh. I have finished my uh, long rage. I have unlocked your six. Yes. Dieters are terrorists. <laughs> the Antifas tend to do better, though. I see them basically professional rioters. I mean, they basically are. There's, um, if you guys like that Riot shit, there's actually a Riot game you can go play. I I heard it was a piece of shit, but maybe they fixed it by now. You can either play the police or the rioters. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> and it's like a shoving match. It's like a 2D shoving match. Or like, they're like 2.5D characters. And you have to get, like, the police have to have a hold a certain point, and the rioters have to you know, push them off, or vice versa. Um. Yeah, and as a police camp, you can, uh... Weapons free! Weapons free! <laughs> then you know what happens when you do weapons free camp? Uh, you, you know, shoot at people. Yeah, you, cl <laughs> you, yeah, you instantly win camp. You clear the square. <laughs> you just lose the campaign, basically, because, you know, you open fire on civilians. 
<laughs> and just mow them the fuck down. All right, I think this will be the last game for the stream. Uh, ask a last minute questions if you have any. And I'd like to thank you, Duper Da. You are supporting the channel very much. Thank you, Duper. Literally single handedly supporting the channel. 10 out of 10. And I will now parade myself with We have memberships. Well, you can get membership for $1 and you get a cool name. And you get cool emojis, like Duper Da has emoji next to his name. And he also has access to now one more emoji! Because I added night vision, because I were able to get two members, and that added emoji. Now I can get six more emojis if I add more people. But we need more people to uh, get more emojis. So I very much appreciate it. If you have a dollar, uh, you know, you can become a member and you get shit. If not, you know, stick around. It's fine. If not, join enjoy the free content. <laughs> free. Mm. Yeah. Conrad has that Grinch laugh. The laugh of the Grinch. No, I have the laugh of the hyena from Lion yeah. King. If you go look up that video, I'll try and find it. Um it's that that's the laugh I have. The title professional writer doesn't say much, though. If they have a sort of group organization with comments or radios, they could probably encircle the sandwich cops. Yeah, and so here's the thing. Uh, cops that, um, like, are in small town don't have riot training. Fun fact, they don't have that shit. Like, DC cops probably do, but... They're lady professionals, but I can't find an image to show how they organize their bottom lines. But yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, a tier 9 game. <laughs> There you go. There's my laugh. <sighs> that little uh, hyena laugh. I like yeah. how the same rubber he does bullets. Have, he does have a hyena laugh. Although mm. everyone has generally a different laugh. True. True. Like one of our buddies from high school laughs like an old man. Which one? Samaro? Samaro, yeah. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> That's his laugh. This is yeah. an old man. <laughs> I'll fucking come kill you, Cam. Uh, He'll admit to it. I don't. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Shoot him. Shoot the bitch, he's broadside. Ooh, he's almost dead. I will engage them all. Damn, the old people talking about a whole bunch of fucking riot tactics. Damn. You can see how they do it in the Berkeley bike lock attack. It does actually make sense to do it that way, though. Because, I mean, cops will fucking hesitate if they fucking have to beat women in front of the fucking people. That's all I will say uh -oh. on that. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Wow, that Shinop is literally on like seven health, but still alive. Oh, that's me. Wow. <laughs> I got Zivadel twice. <laughs> you did show your broadside to him. That's all it takes. 
Well, I only got broadsided by one person, and I got broadsided by another person. You get broadsided a lot. Have you ever thought about not? Yeah. Because all it takes is one fuck up, like I'm doing right now. It just takes one f fuck up, and that's it. Especially this high tier. There was a lot of fucking torpedoes. <laughs> yes, I am actually on the Discord. It'd be nice to discuss later on. Stuff to do tomorrow. Yeah, I'm on the Discord. Just fucking at me. Usually around. Um, or post memes or whatever the fuck. Um, tomorrow we are doing game night at Saturday, 8 to 12. Hell let loose, if any of you have it. Uh, we had like fucking four people last time camp. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna do that shit again. And I will be there. So, Mabra Boopy. <laughs> Oh, this battle does not look good. Why? Oh. I just looked at the fucking- I literally asked you that and I looked at the top of the screen and saw we have four ships down. Yeah. We're talking with Duper. I feel offended now, Uwu. I feel offended. Ooh. How dare you, ooh, ooh. you offended me, ooh, ooh. Die, die horrible. <laughs> ah! Well, I'm showing broadside to a Ruprecht. I don't know how to feel about this. Hmm. Oh, the cruiser's actually called Weimar! <gasps> oh, look at that. My computer would die if I tried to run any game past 2006. You have a GTX 240? What are you playing on? An actual potato? That's literally a potato. <sighs> Damn, I didn't know you were that broke. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Secondary batteries, on, finish them off. I used to be on a potato. And then I decided to not be on a potato. Fucking okay, GTX 240 camp is like 206 shit. Damn. Oh. There is literally nothing but enemies in front of me. Oh, well. I'm gonna die with honor either way. Or you're gonna, you know, lose because they have all the points and they've only lost <laughs> one person. <laughs> yeah, I know. They literally don't even have hydro, and I'm going in. Fire torpedo. I hit, I hit him. him. I shit it on him! <laughs> nice. Did you get him? No. But he's like literally two feet in front of me. There's his fucking torpedoes. He's dead now. You fucked up, AI Ron! Yeah, but you're probably gonna die pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I had no idea. You, like, decapitated him as soon as he stabbed you, like, 
in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fucking cut by like carotid artery. I'm just bleeding out, but I'm like, I got you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, maybe you can kill this snop. No, I'm not gonna surrender. Snop. Dodge. Although you're not doing a whole lot of damage. Your secondaries aren't, at least. That is true. I don't think I will. Gonna turn it around and maybe I can get my other broadside off. Uh. Dead. I was left. <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> I used to have okay. a notebook with a GTX 500 or something. I would use to play RS2 at 20 to 14 FPS, but it broke and I can't play it anymore. For the record, my my mouse pad is the couch. <laughs> God, I love the Vietnam War aesthetic. I really miss that game. Sad, sad. <sighs> okay, well, I think we'll end the stream there on that good note where I actually fucking died for my team. Let, let, actually, let, actually, am I top of the team? I am top of the team. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we will see you guys uh, next time for next stream, and maybe we actually will mix it up and play something else. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We will see you all people later, and duper dot, I'm working on your video, and thank you very much for your donation of $100, which is fucking insane. Uh, but hey, you know, I guess you're insane. Uh, so thank you very much. Otherwise, we'll see people later. Ciao. Have a good one.